Just a quick heads up, I'm not going to show any pictures of tissue damage caused by black salve because it's pretty gross. However, if you want, you can go into Google Images and look for yourself, but don't say I didn't warn you. So what exactly is black salve? Black salve is a topical anti-tumor cream that's used to physically remove tumors and is usually done without any professional medical supervision or approval. Here's how it works. One day you find a growth on your body. You go to the doctor and he tells you it's cancerous. Instead of seeking treatment from the person who diagnosed the cancer in the first place, you rub black salve on the tumor and leave it there for a few minutes up to several hours. Within a few weeks to a month, the tumor dies, falls off, and you're cancer-free. This sounds too good to be true, which of course it is, because this isn't anti-tumor cream, it's anti-skin cream. The two active ingredients in black salve that give it the ability to kill off tissue are zinc chloride, a caustic salt, and sanguinarine, a toxic alkaloid extracted from the sanguinarina candinesis plant, or the bloodroot flower. The combination of these two ingredients are incredibly lethal to living tissue. Zinc chloride, being a caustic salt similar to lye, causes burns to your skin and is advised to be removed immediately upon contact. The sanguinarine toxin kills tissue by blocking sodium potassium pumps preventing the flow of sodium and potassium ions across the cell membrane. As a result, cells can't perform regular functions causing them to die. Now, you may be thinking, well, why is this a problem if it's doing all this to a tumor? Isn't it good that it's killing off the cancerous growth? Yes, if black salve discriminately killed off the tumor by itself, then this would be a medical breakthrough. However, since it's just a mixture of caustic salt and cell toxins, it just destroys tissue as long as it's applied. The idea is to apply the black salve for the right amount of time so that it just kills the tumor. Then you remove the salve before it damages healthy tissue. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's stupid and won't work because the tumor is being killed off by unregulated tissue destruction, which turns out is a bad thing because you can't control it, and more importantly, it causes necrosis. Necrosis is a process in which an abnormally large number of cells die off in an unregulated and catastrophic manner, either by presence of a toxin like a snake bite or severe injury. This is highly destructive because the cells upon catastrophic death release enzymes that aren't supposed to be released in large quantities outside the cell. These released enzymes break down the cell membrane of neighboring cells, causing these cells to release their enzymes, resulting in a domino effect. Additionally, this damage causes cells in the vicinity to become stressed and release signaling proteins. This recruits immune cells, causing further inflammation and injury. This destructive pathway is what causes the severe tissue damage associated with black salve. In summary, the reason why black salve kills tumors is because it's formulated to kill any living tissue it comes in contact with. It's not an anti-tumor treatment, it's a pro-necrotic agent. Using black salve is no different than removing a tumor with hydrochloric acid and sandpaper. On the stupid scale, I'm rating black salve at a 7 out of 10, because though people who have cancer may get incredibly desperate, you should never try to treat it yourself. Ever. On the harmful scale, Black Sab is without a doubt a 10 out of 10.